Hey guys, I'm trying to restore BX300 and I just installed this new motors I received and its shaft is a little bit shorter, like about a couple millimeters shorter and I'm already see that if I install everything properly the white gear will go behind so it will be slipping Oh yeah, so the only chance I have is to replace the shell with good magnet and use this uh, rotor with a longer shaft and so combine one motor and see if it will work see you soon okay here are the assembled both motors they are very similar and i measured it the coils resistance and coils uh, has the same like 20 ohm 20.6 ohm but uh, the new motor i had to clean up uh, contacts because uh, it was oxidized and was showing 160 ohm initially when i clean it it became the same and when i believe the coils rolled a little bit differently they are pretty pretty the same and the difference is of the shaft is about four millimeters as you may see they're not not a big difference but at the same time it didn't allow me to complete assembly all right now let me shuffle these boxes they looks to be pretty the same no no magnets different wow Oh yeah, let me think more how to overcome it. So diameter is different, you see? The new motors has a bigger magnets. That's what is happening. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, let me think more. Externally they are the same, but the diameter of rotors are different. The new one has more thick magnets. Oh, let me think more. And guys, yeah, I just use the magnets. I didn't touch. I just check them to uh, see the magnetic field inside, right? And I was going in circles to see the magnetic field. This one uh, repels very strong and this one almost has no power so my original idea is that this motor has a weak magnet confirmed so i cannot demonstrate it because i need hands let me see if i can use my phone holder right. so here we go i go inside and i feel so in some places there is like uh, it sucks and other it repels you see i cannot push it it's it's really strong okay it sucks sucks repels here repels at this point and sucks at this point in this half it sucks this half it repels why well, this one The field is so weak, here it sucks a little bit, and here it's almost no, I can touch it, it's non repels. Alright, so that's the magnet. When I was young, I was creating a special coil with a strong magnetic field, and I was magnetizing the of a little bit bigger size magnet than that and here we have a large magnet I, i'm not sure how i can magnetize it right. let me think more see soon okay guys finally after all experiments i rotated as you may see approximately how many i'm not sure it's about like 160 150 degrees and found the position and assemble it when at the 2.5 volts 
it never had a death spot, okay, in both directions. So it always starts in opposite direction. It always starts not as it was before <laughs> when it was hitting the dead spot and never start again. Okay. Now I will try to assemble and see how everything will perform. But that's how you may restore your motor. Open it, rotate on different angle, close it, test it with two 2.5 volts, let me reduce to 2 volts, just for the case, okay, 1.9, it's always start, even with a lot which I give with my finger, and opposite direction, It always starts okay. I hope this motor will work for another couple years at least. Now I will assemble. You see, I had to pull up, pull out this motor from DR1 back <laughs> to restore BX300. Two decks is always better than the one deck. Specifically, I got new belts as you remember uh, for the. The R series, where these belts perform really well, not significantly different than the direct drive. Okay, uh, now I will assemble. Uh, I believe you already see multiple times how I dealt it. You may refer to my previous videos if you need to. Technically, it's not a big deal. Just remember the order of parts where they go to. As you may see, I still remember how to assemble BX300 after everything. The only thing I will uh, use, I uh, will see which wire goes on which position on the board. I will refer to my older video for that. All other parts are as simple as that. Okay. So there is a hole for the spring. Okay. And now the parts a bit over okay like that it was i hope you may see it and now it will be working on the proper heat height sorry again two volts that's the lowest probably this motor should work 1.8 volt works in this direction it doesn't stop anymore okay good so let me complete assembly and i see there okay guys here i assemble the motor and the difference is when it has a proper lungs you see it gets in the middle of the gear here, the small gear. When we had a 4 millimeters lower, it gets on the very corner and slips because here is some movement. Okay. So those motors are nice motors, but not for the state transfer. All right, see you guys. Okay, everyone, and here I assembled with new belts and old motor. Now DR1 has old motor and it has one flutter around 0 
a little bit jumpy but this uh, original pinch rollers <coughs> a little bit hard on it and don't keep really really well on the left side I believe so that's where tape slips quickly and that's where we get intermittent round flutter but all in all we are in a good shape and I'm ready to assemble this deck. I, it still he has this nice solid polymer capacitors across the board and in the playback amplifier. All right. See soon. Okay, guys, so here we finally playing. It doesn't stop anymore. I tested in multiple modes. I tested multiple tapes. It plays. Fast forward and rewind works. No problem anymore. So that's where if you will be fixing similar problem, now you know how to do it. Alright. So it doesn't stop anymore since I rebuilt this motor and I turned to the different angle. It works perfectly Sandy. Alright. So that's where I pull back the direct drive motor and assembled the X300 and I assembled uh, Nakamichi DR1 back. So now I have two decks. All right. And this is deck of my friend. He's been like sitting a year now. <laughs> with me while I was trying to find a motor of fix it to find the fix now let's fix it so I hope he will be happy all right this would be it for this part hope you enjoy it I'll meet you in my next adventures